Hey guys, what's going on? It's iApple Tech, and today I'm bringing you a city of tweak called Jepit. Now, Jepit will get you custom effects when you switch between your various apps on your iPhone or your iPod Touch. So if you open up your settings here, you'll see we have Jepit. Go ahead and click on that, and you can see that there are effects and there are speed. So in the effects panel, we have, uh, make sure you have it enabled, and you have rotation, app fade, vertical, which on the iPad, vertical for the iPhone, and the iPod Touch, vertical stretch. This should be horizontal stretch, must be in a typo there. And then you also have speed, slow, fast, and really fast. If you take notice, rotation does not work on the iPhone, so we're not gonna really show that. So you just go ahead in here, enable app fade, and I go into one of my other apps. You can notice that it does fade between the various apps as you go back and forth between them. It's a pretty cool one. Uh, the vertical, we go ahead here. You can see it does a vertical rather than the horizontal, which is the normal changing between the apps. So that one's probably my favorite. The vertical stretch. That one kind of has some things going on with it that's a little messed up. Not really sure. And then we have the horizontal stretch with an O. <laughs> you can see that one's a little messed up as well. So other than that. So then we also have the speed. Now this can be on the default. So we go here with the slow and with nothing enabled on the effects. You can see it has a slow when we switch between the various apps on our device. And then if we go back, we just turn on fast. You'll notice it does it a little faster. And this also works with the effects. So if we turn on the speed fast and the vertical on, and we go ahead and switch between the apps, it switches in a vertical position faster than the normal does with the iPhone. Now, Jepit is available in the City Store via the Mod My Eye repo, and there's been some questions whether it does cost a dollar fifty nine or not. I was able to get mine for free off the Mod My Eye repo. They must be having some issues, but if not, it will cost you a dollar fifty nine, and it allows you to change the animation while switching between different apps on your iPhone, and they have different speeds as well as uh, about ten animations to choose from. So if you guys do like this video, don't forget to give it a like up, leave your comments in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Thanks guys.